Hey everybody, thanks for joining me for another video. Recently I did a video about how to charge your Tesla at a campground. If you haven't seen that video yet, I will link it up here as well as down in the description below. Today though, we're gonna be talking about Tesla home charging using a standard 220 volt, 30 amp dryer plug that almost all of us already have in our laundry rooms. So there's no need for a costly electrician to come out, which can cost between like 750 to $1,500. Now I will preface this with, this setup works best if your dryer plug is on the same wall as your garage. If not, you'll need an extension cord, but it'll still work. Now there's a few different options when it comes to Tesla home charging, ranging from the really slow 110 volt that comes with your Tesla mobile charger and just plugs into your normal wall outlet. But who wants to charge at three to four miles an hour? Now on the other higher end, many of you had an electrician come out, install a Tesla home charger on a 60 amp breaker, which adds another $500 for the product plus the electrician cost we already talked about. Now there are some advantages to doing it this way, like 44 miles per hour charging plus power sharing, which if you have multiple vehicles, just takes care of all of the headache for you. You don't have to worry about anything. But many of you might not wanna spend that. And I know many of you are probably new to Tesla, just put in your orders and are just waiting on delivery. And you wanna have your charging setup done on day one, you know, without having to spend an arm and a leg. So today I wanted to talk to you about an easy setup that many of you already have in your home and will give you 21 miles per hour of charging, which is sufficient for most people out there. And will give you a full charge each night so you can wake up and head off to work in the morning. What's great about this option is that it's inexpensive, there's no need for professional installation, and the setup time is in minutes. Now the links to any adapters, cords, etc., will all be down in the description below. So just head down there when you're done watching the video. All right, so let's head out to the garage and take a look at my setup. All right, so I'm in the laundry room and I wanted to come in here briefly just to show you how the setup looks in here before heading out to the garage. And as you can see back here, I have a splitter that's coming out from the dryer plug here and one side runs into the back of the dryer. The other side runs out into the garage for the Tesla mobile charger, which I'll get to in a second. So just to show you what I did here, uh, this is what I was talking about where having the dryer plug on one of the walls in the garage makes this a lot easier. I had this little section back here, as you can see, and it's just a thin little piece of plastic between the garage and the laundry room. So I just decided, well, I'm just gonna put a little, little uh, hole there, and then I can just take this thing and just pop it up when I have the cord through, and when it's not, I can just you know take this out and then just close it all the way up. All right, so you never wanna use the dryer and the Tesla charger at the same time. And as you saw that I already have a splitter back there, which makes it convenient because you don't have to go back there and you know unplug it and then plug it back in and switch them back and forth. You know, you never want to forget either. Although it'll probably just trip the circuit, so it's not a huge deal. I did want to figure out a way that, well, to tell anybody else in the house not to dry or even remind myself not to dry if I'm charging. I actually just got this. <laughs> kind of a fun little thing here. So what I do is I just hook it on there and just put it in front of the dryer handle here. And so now me or anybody else in the household knows that somebody's charging the Tesla right now. So you can't open the door without running into it. And it's kind of just a cheap solution that takes care of that problem and kind of a fun one. All right, so we're out here in the garage now. And as you can see, I have a little holder here for the Tesla mobile charger. And this has been working great. I just got this on Amazon. So I will link to that as well below. And any, again, anything else I talk about, I will link below. You have the Tesla mobile charger here. And then I have an extension cord that works for EVs that is specifically made for dryer plugs. And it works uh, great with EVs. And then down here, you can see that's the hole that goes through. It's closed up right now, so you can't really see inside. So that just comes out from the splitter that was on the back of the dryer. And this just comes right out here. And then as you can see, just, uh, sits right here. So what's been great about this setup is again, there is absolutely no installation for many professionals. So there's no cost to that. You don't have to pay $500 for the Tesla wall charger. And again, there's no electrician to come out or anything like that. And you can set it up in literally like five minutes. So that's been great. It uh, gets me 21 miles per hour when charging. I'll show you how it uh, attaches to the car in a second. And then, so when I'm ready to get charging, all I have to do is take this and just plug this into it right there and that's it. And then unwrap it so I have a little bit of extra slack and then string it out and then I can just uh, plug it right into the side of the car. Super easy, 
Super cheap to set up. I mean, you can't get any easier than this. The only thing that I did that was a little different is because the back wall of my garage actually is going right into the laundry room. It just made it easy for me to do this. So if you have a similar setup where one of your garage walls is the same as your laundry room, that just makes it so much easier. All I did is I just cut it out and then I just got like a little contraption that just has like a little door that opens and closes. Super easy to set up. This took me, you know, maybe like a half hour to do. Then I just kind of sealed it up nicely, put a little paint on it and works no problem. All right, so we're gonna get ready to charge here. I'll show you how to do that. So you just take this. Just push that in. I'll unwrap this. You can see that the Tesla charger is now on. Then I just unhook the mobile charger from there. Come back here to the port. Open that. Wait for the green light. All right, success. All right, let's check inside the car. All right, so we're in the car now and you can see it is four hours and 20 minutes to a full charge. It currently has 49%, get that focused. And I have the limit set at home when I'm here, just at 80%. You can obviously do higher if you need to go on a trip or something like that. But otherwise, yeah, I just keep it at 80% when I'm at home in town and things like that. You can see right now it is charging at 24 amps. I didn't have to touch anything. Whenever I've plugged in, either to a regular wall outlet or, you know, or using at the campground or anything like that, any adapters, the car seems to automatically go to whatever it needs. So I haven't ever had to touch that. I will show you a chart right now up on the screen that kind of details the different charging times and how much you can get per hour and things like that. And I'll throw that up on the screen right now. All right, so this again is a 30 amp, 220 volt charge and coming in at 24 amps. And if you just, you know, get home from work and plug it in, again, by the morning when you're heading off to work, you're going to have a full battery every single time. And, you know, if you need to go run out to dinner, something like that, that's not going to be an issue. This is going to get you 21 miles per hour. That's going to be sufficient for most people. Obviously, if you're going to be doing traveling or something like that, you're going to need to, you know, set the limit maybe up to 100% before you can get to a supercharger. But other than that, you're never going to have to worry about that. You just plug in when you get home and just like you do your phone. And then when you wake up in the morning and head off to work, you unplug it and you got it at a full charge, whatever you need that to be. So again, this is just an inexpensive, quick way to set up home charging. So when you get your Tesla, you're immediately getting more than if you just plugged into like a 110 volt, just regular wall outlet. And this will probably satisfy most people. So let me know if you guys have any questions. So if there's something I didn't address, you know, I'm not an electrician, so I don't know a lot of this, but I know this is just a inexpensive alternative to getting a Tesla wall charger. All right, so that's pretty much it. Again, I will leave all of the links to any of the adapters or cords or any of that stuff for my setup in the description below. All right, so that pretty much uh, wraps up this video. If you have any questions about my setup, please leave a comment below. Also, please like this video if you wanna see more like it and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next travel quick tip or review video. Thanks for watching.